chest up, come up to standing. So the first exercise that we're doing is round the clock lunge. So we're gonna lunge out into all directions, all the way around the clock. As we lunge, we're gonna really focus on the knee tracking. So as we lunge forward, knee tracking forward, toes pointing forward, and, and when we lunge out to the outside as well. So I'm gonna go half a clock with one leg, half a clock with the other leg. Okay, alrighty, let's go. 12 o'clock, check your knee is pointing the same direction as your toes. Okay, behind, when you get to six o'clock, it's straight up, straight down, switch leg, rear foot, and lunge out. And to nine o'clock, get your body weight onto the outside leg, back to the middle. And one more, knee tracking forward. So pay attention, rather than speed, we're looking for accuracy. So see which bit you need to tense to control the movement. And reverse. And then again. So as you do the reverse lunge, it's the front knee that you're gonna pay attention to. And then o'clock. And if it's starting to sway inward and outward, think about changing the angle of your foot to see if you need to put more pressure on the outside or the inside to correct it. We're gonna go all the way back to up to 12 o'clock and then we're gonna move on to the next exercise. And half o'clock again. And pause. Cool. Alrighty. So we're going to go into heel raise. If you've got a little towel or like a roller or something, just going to roll it up. You're going to pop it between your ankle bones. Cool. And then we're going to come up to your tiptoes. Come up to your tiptoes. Cool. So you're aiming to really squeeze the towel or whatever object you have between your ankle bones and then aiming for that tiptoe. Slight bend in your knees. Focus. Okay. We're also working on the VMO at the moment as well as your soleus. Good, a few more times, five, four, three, two, one, and pause, super, go, pop that towel out for a second, we'll come back to it, grab that foot or go to a step, so what we're going to do, we're going to do some hip hitching, I'm just going to show my waistband here. I'm going to have one foot on the book. I'm going to use the hip to raise the whole leg. Okay. So I'm not lifting my knee, the leg is whole entirely straight. But I'm going to shift it up and use my hip to lift it. So in running we actually don't want to do this movement but if we don't want to do this movement, that means we need to build those muscles to control it. Okay. So you, it's a small movement. You're thinking about hitching the hip to lift the leg. So we're not swinging, we're just hitching. And switch to the other side. Again. Hit, hitch. Have a quick check on the camera to see if your waistband is lifting up. So hitch, that's it. Interestingly, when we do this exercise, 
we're lifting the left leg with the muscles on your right side. So it's the opposite of what you would think. And make this the last three, two, one, and pause. So pop that away for a second. The next one, you can either put your hands on the wall or lean. So we're aiming for a lean, we're aiming for a knee drive with a straight back. Good. So find whatever wall nearest to you. Get yourself into not quite 40, this is 45 degrees. When you come back in, we're around a meter away from the wall. And then we're going to go for some knee drive with a straight back. So the purpose of that is the knee lifting movement at the front. But also, we're really thinking about pushing your hips forward. So we're not trying to bend like this. We're trying to really keep that hip pushing forward and facing the wall. That's it. So you can really push your hip forward until your whole body is in a plank position and you're squeezing your butt belly in, engaging your core. Go. A few more times. You can build up the pace if you like, but we're looking for accuracy. It's the knee towards the wall and then back to where they were. So nice and high. Drive it up. For five, four, three, two, one, and pause. Awesome. Cool. So we've done our sole layers. We're now going to work on our calves. So we're going to take it into some single leg hop. If you've got downstairs neighbors, come, just come up into a calf race, like in balance either calf raise or single leg hop. So as we hop, we really focus on that knee tracking again. So if you're swaying in and out, then really focus on just make that movement smaller, more accurate, and make sure you bend the knee to soften the landing. Switch side. That's it. Have a quick look. Your hip should be level. Control it from the muscles that you were just been working on. And relax. Shake it loose first. Let's come back to it. Nice work. All right. We're gonna go into single leg bridge uh, with an elevation. So you can either use the book or if you could near a sofa or a chair, bring that in. I'm gonna pop one leg up, or two leg up. Cool. So your choice, double leg bridge or single leg bridge. It depends on how strong you are and how long and if you're familiar with this. All right, so if you're doing single leg, it's 10 on each side, double leg, 20 all together. Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Yeah. Three, so drive through the heel and see if we can think about the muscles that you're using is your hamstrings and your glute. And I'm switching side because I've just done 10, I reckon. Drive through the heel. So you can drag the heel towards your bum so you activate your hamstring more. And drive it down to lift your hip. And three, two, 
one, pause. Flip over into a plank position. And go into a plank leg raise. So this is a glute activation exercise. So go into a plank position. Either knees and hands or knees and uh, hands and toes. You're gonna lift one leg up from your glute, and then we're gonna go engage, disengage, engage, disengage. There is up. That's it. You can really feel the glute engaging in order to lift the leg up. Cool. You're not letting it come all the way down. It's one side only. And switch to the other side. It's a pulse. So you're keeping that leg elevated. And it's a pulse. So you squeeze, release, squeeze, release. Squeeze, release. That's it. Three, two, one. Pause. Let's do this one more time. You can see a few variations there. So we're going to go 10 on each side as a pulse. So have a look first. So as we do, it's one side only. We're going to pulse it 10 times. Switch leg 10 times. All right, ready? And let's go again. Elevate your leg up from the glute. Pulse it 10 times. Bring it as high up as you can with your glute. Five and switch side. Eight, seven, five, four, three, two, one. And pause. Shake it loose. Awesome. Cool. All right. So we're going to go through the set one more time. We're going to start with the round the clock lunge. So make sure your stance is at least hip width apart. Let's go through it. So 12 o'clock. Knee tracking. Forward. Lunge out. Knee is still going in line with my ankle. Front knee in line. There you go. Lean out. And switch leg. Lean out. Good. That's it. Really pay attention to the control. One more round. Three o'clock, five o'clock, six o'clock, switch side. While you do these exercises, everything should be engaged. You're squeezing your core in, your hips engaged, and you're trying to really control the tracking of the knee. And pause. Nice. Okay, bring your book, sorry, bring your towel back. Wedge it between your ankle. And come up to your tiptoes. We're going to go for 30 seconds. That's it. Really focus on an even pressure on the front of your foot. So it's not just on the outside or the inside. You're rolling onto the pads, the front of your feet. Slight bend in the knees. That's it. Have about five seconds left. Five. Four, three, two, one, and pause. 
find your book. And hip hitch. So I'm going to show you my waistline here. We're going to look to lift that hip bone up with the other side of the glutes actually. This movement is controlled by the glute on the opposite side. So we're trying to activate those muscles. Five, four, three, two, one, switch to the other side. Here we go again. Lift on the hip. That's it. Tilting the hip. That's it. So all the movement is done with straight legs. So you're not stepping off, you're just tilting your hip. That's it. And five, four, three, two, one, and pause. Oh, pop the block away. Find the wall, knee drive. So really focusing on getting your hip pushed forward without the bend. Because if, if we're just bending like this, it's no use. Keep that hip straight and let's go for a minute of knee drive. Yep. Keep pushing your hip forward and lifting your knees high. Your knees should be just passing your waistband and you're driving it down, keeping the hip thrust out forward. So your body should be at an angle, leaning forward. Nice, that's it. In five, four, three, two, one, and pause. Cool. Single leg hop or just into a calf race. Up to you. It's 30 seconds on each side. Starting in three. Two, one, here we go. Okay, so pay attention with leveling your hip because we're still using trying to activate those glutes. Pay attention to your knees so they're not swaying in and out. Soften the landing in three, two, one, switch. There we go. Bring your balance back to the middle. See if you're swaying from one side to the other. That gives you a clue of if your glute needs working. Because it's the glutes that stop you from moving sideways. In five, four, Three, two, one, and pause. Shake it loose. Elevated bridge. So either with just a book, step, or chair. Double leg or single leg. Double leg, that's 20 for you. Single leg, that is 10 on each side. Get ready. And... Let's go, drive through the heel, thinking about tractioning the heel towards your bum. In five, four, three, two, one. If you're doing single leg, switch side, double leg, carry on. Five, four, Three, two, one, and pause. Awesome. Go, tap 
B. Flip over into a plank position. Plank leg raise. It's one side for 30 seconds, the other side 30 seconds. So take your plank position, either hands and knees or hands and toes. Get ready, three, two, one, float one leg up, clench your bum, flutter kick with one leg, squeeze and unsqueeze. Don't let it drop to the floor, it's pulsing. Get that plank straight and see if you can lift the whole thing straight or you can bend the knee so it's more from your glute. The main thing is feel your glute squeezing in. Three, two, switch side and lift it up. Here we go. Pulse. That's it. So you can level out your hip, so it's level, even, keep pulsing it up, almost there, five, four, three, two, one, and pause, super, good job, alrighty, let's finish up with a few minutes of stretching, and then we can call it a day. Okay, so start off with your quads first. So grab your toe, foot, slide the knees in together, balance, thrust out your hip. So the more you can push your hip forward, the better stretch you will get. We're looking for a seven out of 10. So don't go too far. And release to the other side. Slide and knee in. And push out. Breathe. Keep thrusting your hip forward. Breathe. And gently release. Cool. Let's take this hamstring stretch as hinge at the hip, straight back as though you're gonna do a deadlift and we're just gonna hang here. So it's not so much about touching the floor because if you need to curve your back to touch the floor, that's no good. So keep your back straight and we're just gonna lean in for as far as your hamstring would allow you to, to do. So keep your back straight, sticking your bum out, that's it. And you almost want to just put the weight towards your heels, so you're leaning back a little bit, so you can really feel the hamstring stretching. And relax, and roll the back up into some calf stretch. Um, so let's take this either against the wall or as a downward dog. So we're just gonna pedal through it. And some heel stretch. So you can walk backward a bit if you need to, pushing the heel down until you can stretch calf. So the more you can push your hip forward, the bigger stretch you will get. We're always looking for that 7 out of 10 stretch. Switch side if you're not doing, if you're pedaling, carry on. If you're doing single leg, switch, switch side. Breathe. And gently release. So you can either do this standing up or lying down. So you're gonna cross your leg and sit into it. Or you can do it from lying down. You're gonna lie down, cross the ankle over, grab the knee and pull it towards your chest. In the meantime, we're looking for this knee to go out, the other knee 
in towards your chest. So, figure of four with the leg, ankle over knee, and you're using your hands to try to pull the knee inwards towards your chest. So you can push your bum away from your butt, from your, from your shoulder. It's going to give you more of a stretch. Breathe. And switch to the other side. Thread through your hands, grab the front of the knee or your thigh. Bring your, the form into your chest, into a big glute stretch. Push the knee out, breathe, and gently release, go, open your arms wide and just take a couple of window wiper Loosen your back. If you're standing up, just you can bring your knee either side of your body. Three more times on each side. Two. One. And release. Super. That is all for tonight. Thank you all very much for coming. Um...